Effective keyword research is essential in order to increase product visibility and sales. In this video, you will learn how to find the high converting mid to long tail keywords using Helium 10's Cerebro tool, including how to categorize keywords by buyer intent and create targeted Amazon PPC campaigns. If you want to try Helium 10 for yourself, you'll find the special discounts and links in the video description below. Optimizing your product listings will always go hand in hand with effective keyword research. So if you're looking to find tips on how to find those mid to long tail keywords that drive more sales to your product, we got you here at Orange Click. Stay until the end of this video to get tips on how to choose the best keywords to run on your PPC campaigns. Hi, my name is Nikki and I'm from Orange Click. And today we're going to show you how to find those best keywords that drive more sales to your product which will help you with your keyword ranking, which leads to better visibility and conversion. Choosing the best relevant keywords is not just important. It's essential for visibility and sales. When you're doing your keyword research for optimization and PPC, it is important to understand the different factors that contribute to achieving your goals, which is your keyword ranking, which you would want to be higher, and which leads to higher visibility and higher conversions. We all know Amazon likes to show products on the first page of the results page or top of search that are having high sales velocity and high conversion rates. You can achieve those by checking off the retail readiness of your listing. These are big factors that can determine if your listing is ready to compete against its top competitors in the niche and is capable of pushing over the weak ones. First, is your product image better than your competitors? Do you have better quality hero images that clearly shows your product? Did you complete the full seven slots plus the product video? Second, identify your unique selling points or USPs. Did you clearly highlight your product's unique selling points in your succeeding images, A plus content, and as well as bullet points? Third, do you provide better delivery options? Offering faster delivery can give you the right edge against your competitors. Improving this part of your offer can be a deciding factor to your target customers. Fourth, do you provide coupons to motivate customers to choose your product? Coupons are great during launching, on special occasions, and even on the days when you want to motivate your warm customers to purchase your product. This can help increase your conversion rates and as well as increase your sales velocity and higher customer return rate. Fifth, do you have the most relevant keywords? This is where you will have to carefully select the right high volume, high sales converting keywords that will help catapult your product listings to higher ranking. Another factor to include in selecting which keywords to include in your product listing to get more sales is the words that customers use when they are closer to buying a product. You have to understand that there are search terms on Amazon that will indicate customer search journey. So in this tutorial, we will show you how to categorize these keywords from browse keywords, cold keywords, and to warm keywords. Browse keywords mean general keywords that can indicate an intent to search for products from the general term the customer search for, but they don't have the intention of buying a specific product yet. Cold keywords can mean those keywords that are closer to what your product offers, but can either be competitor branded keywords or highly competitive keywords, which are not what we want to be visible for and wouldn't want to compete in unless we have excellent organic rankings, high conversion, high reviews, and high sales velocity. Warm keywords, on the other hand, are those long tail keywords that indicate buyer intent to buy your product. Those keywords that describe your product and better if they know your brand name and added it to the search term, then those are those keywords we would like to add in our listing for better indexing and ranking. I will now show you how to do an advanced keyword research using strategic filters to capture the right keywords to optimize your listings and to run your PPC campaigns with. I will do it through doing a Cerebro keyword research using Helium 10 to find out what are those sales driving keywords that your top competitors are currently ranking on and are contributing mainly to their success in increased sales. We start by selecting the main seed keyword of your product. Main seed keyword means the exact description of what your product is and mainly two to three words in total. For example, this is a war product. 
a gaming pillow for lap. And so, for example, you're offering this pillow that is for gamers and for you to use with your laptop, but you're offering a unique one that is also for reading and has pockets for drinks and phones and some game console. So now you have your main seed keyword that is gaming for lap. We will now type that search keyword on the Amazon search bar, which is gaming pillow for lap. Now, you have to select your top competitors. You can select up to 10 competitor ASINs when doing a Cerebro keyword research. You can select your top competitors by running an X-ray tool, which you can select your top competitors either with the highest reviews or highest revenue. In this case, we will select our top competitors with the highest revenue. Don't forget to hide sponsored products from the results as we would like to only select those top competitors that are ranking high organically. And so for selecting the top competitors, choose the ones with the same price point, almost similar price points, same material and color, and as well as design. So we will know exactly more or less what are those keywords that our direct competitors are using to get higher sales. Make sure to click our ASIN first as our first ASIN which is this one and we will proceed with selecting the other top competitors. Once you selected click run Cerebro tool, exclude variations, then get keywords. We now have 5,443 filtered keywords from our initial filter. These are keywords that are extracted from our top 10 ASINs, including our ASIN. We still need to refine the keywords as this list is still quite a lot. So we now have to introduce the advanced filters, such as search volume of minimum of 500, match type of organic, and a word count of at least two. When you click apply, now we have 891 filtered keywords from 5,000 a while ago. This really narrowed down the search we are now closer to getting the right keywords and the relevant ones that we will be using on our product listing optimization and PPC campaigns. Now what we will do is export this data as an Excel file or CSV file. So there are a lot of data here which we will not be using. What I want to see only are the search search volume keyword, the Amazon PPC suggested bids, position rank, and the rest of the AC. So what you can do is rename your keyword research to competitor cerebro keyword research gaming pillow for lap, which is our main seed keyword. So right now we have here the search volume column, the PPC suggested bids, which is the average of the minimum and maximum PPC bids so that won the bids position rank, which is our ASIN and the rest of the nine top ASIN competitors. We can now further process the keywords extracted from Helium 10. I added one column on the left side of the search volume and named this relevancy. The purpose of this column is to check the average of ASIN competitors out of the 10 ASINs that are ranking within the top 30 or top of the search page. This is the formula that we used and what you will do is just drag this down here to get the rest of the relevancy for the rest of the keywords. What I will be harvesting here is those keywords that have the relevancy of 4 and above. Note that this may change if you, for example, found just 5 competitor ASINs, then the threshold should be to take the relevant keywords that has the relevancy of 2 and not 4. Note that you still have to manually check each keyword phrase to ensure that you are selecting the most relevant keywords to your product. The manual checking can help you as well to segregate which keywords are browse, cold, and warm keywords later on in the keyword analysis. The industry practice is to select up to 50 keywords to add in an ad campaign to make it easier for keyword monitoring. So right now, we have about 32 keywords, which is very efficient and very fast using the right tool, which is the Cerebro tool of Helium 10. It made our keyword research more efficient and it really saved us time to get those best relevant keywords that drive sales for our listing as well. Now, the next step is for the third column here, I inserted five more on top of this keyword phrase. And on this third row, we have to count all the keywords that are ranking below top 30. This is our formula. Depending on the range of the rows you have selected as relevant keywords, which is up until here, for example, on this column, E39, 
So that would be the scope of our formula. So we will only count the ones that I will be picking up because of the relevancy score threshold. So I will do it for the rest of the nine ASINs as well. The next step is to check which of the competitor ASINs have an overall keywords that are ranking within the top 30. Meaning out of all the keyword lists here, how many keywords in percentage does this ASIN have? And it will determine the difficulty with which to compete with these competitors. I color coded it green. That means that it is low or easy competition. Orange for medium competition and high competition. And red for high competition. As you can see here, this ASIN only has 5 keywords out of the 32 keywords that I have selected that is very relevant in high sales driving keyword as well as these 3. So these are my low competition ASINs and it's also good to visually know which of these ASINs I can easily compete with. How difficult would be these red ASINs to compete with, for example these three, as this is our ASIN. I would focus more on competing against these six ASINs. Now that you have identified which keywords have the right amount of relevancy to add in your keyword bank, you can now start categorizing these keywords in order to prioritize which ones to add to your product listing. You can create a separate tab which of the keywords you will include in keyword category. For example, for browse keywords, I included these keywords like desk pillow, pillow desk, lap pillow for reading, reading lap pillow, table pillow, and bed desk pillow because these are general broad terms which indicates customer browsing for products with no specific product or brand in mind and for cold keywords these are keywords that I identified in this category table pillow for bed reading pillow for lap lap desk pillow lap pillow desk pillow desktop for your lap lap reading pillow and like a branding here, reading pillow for lab. These are more mid to long tail keywords specifying branded keywords and as well as what type of pillow and for which part of the body to be used on or give comfort to. This is describing more of what our product offers. And for warm keywords, here are the keywords that I added. First is reading pillow for gaming, which already introduces gaming, which what we are trying to target for gamers. So we have ergonomic gaming pillow, reading and gaming pillow, reading pillow for gaming, extra large, gaming pillow, gaming pillow for lap, gaming pillow for bed, gaming pillows, lap pillow for laptop, and so on. These are more specific terms which exactly describes our product and have very substantial relevance and search volume to drive sales as you can see. They also have very good search volume. We can also examine that with these warm keywords, you will see some average suggested PPC bids which are very approachable in terms of budget as it is not as highly competitive as other keywords which also has high relevancy. You can now start incorporating these warm keywords in your title and until you get indexed organically, you power up your ranking juice by supplementing it with PPC campaign targeting those keywords you added to your title. This strategy will guarantee page 1 ranking as well as more conversion and sales. Of course, incorporating these new highly relevant keywords to your listing can only be effective if you do a constant keyword index tracking and rank monitoring. You can do that here by using Helium 10's keyword tracker and as well as keyword research magnet to check which of your keywords are performing, which one has better click-through rates and conversion. You can push more budgets for those that are performing and pause the ones that are not converting as much. As we further do the keyword analysis by identifying which keywords in the phrase and exact match that we don't want to appear in those results, for a PPC tip, we are basically doing a negative keywords list so that we will indicate in our campaigns to not appear in the results page which will result in lesser spend on keywords that are less likely to convert and we will now have lower ACoS on these campaigns. Going back here on our second tab, looking for these negative keywords, this will also redirect the spend especially for sellers that are in tight budget to better performing keywords that are driving more click-through rate and conversions. The way to do this is to fully know what your product does and what it offers. We know that we offer this product to gamers, gaming, and it acts like a pillow desk for gamers. 
doing their games in bed or on the couch. So we definitely don't want to see the words such as floor, crochet, knitting, and the other keyword phrases containing it. So in the harvested keywords, we can see that there have been some keyword phrases here, including knitting pillow for lap, crochet, pillow for lap support, crochet pillow. So I would be taking this and adding this to our negative keywords and add here those keyword phrases that have been harvested here so far and include this in our negative keywords list as well as floor. So I would look for floor over here any keyword phrase that contains floor. For example, this one floor pillows for adults and this one as well. And so I would continue to to check all of this manually and add this here for my negative keywords list. So here I also added my match type in which I would be selecting an exact match type for the keyword knitting and a phrase match type for knitting pillow for lap. So we would really don't want to show up the results page for these keywords so that our efforts of directing our budgets can be better spent on more converting keywords than of these ones because these are not our target market. We also need to examine those keywords that are high volume and high relevant but are not commonly being used by your competitors in the title. So I'll be looking at the relevancy of three and below now. And this is a goldmine strategy in which keywords that you will add on your title can definitely catapult your product to the top of search page since few of your competitors are targeting those keywords in the title. An advantage you want to sustain by getting more conversions before applying a PPC campaign on it. For example, gifts for gamers. This can be seasonal, which you can see here only one out of the top 10 ASINs are ranking on it. And then we can see here as well, Gamer Gifts for Men. Only one ASIN out of the top 10 is also taking advantage of this keyword phrase. It has 8,521 search volume and relevancy of 2. We can also see here, Cool Gifts for Gamer, which has very good search volume and fairly good relevancy in only one async competitor. So, so imagine adding this to your title and you'll be able to rank within the top 30. Then you will have the eyes and the visibility that you will get and none of your competitors except for this one are vying for it. So those are sales that you can capture right away. So I added it here as yellow. And so as you can see, they have really good search volume and very affordable PPC bidding as well. And so, yep. So today we were able to show you how to identify those highly relevant keywords that are currently driving more sales and conversion like these ones, the red ones, by including this in your product title. We were able to segregate the keywords by relevancy and according to buyer's intent. So you can prioritize which keywords to bank on more and which ones to include in the negative phrase for exact and phrase type. All with the aid of Helium 10's very effective keyword research tools such as Cerebro. If you want to try Helium 10's all-in-one Amazon seller tool to do more advanced and effective keyword research and keyword tracking, save big using our coupon codes in the description of this video below. Get 10% off any Helium 10 monthly plans using the coupon code ORANGE10 or get 20% off the first 6 months using the ORANGE 6M20 code. If you like the videos that we just produced, don't forget to send in good vibes in the comments section and please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel that's Orange Click. Again, this is Nikki from Orange Click. Thank you for watching. I hope this video will help you to optimize your Amazon product listings with strategic keyword placement. If you want to try Helium 10, find the special uh, discounts and the link below in the video description. And if you like the content we produce, don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons below. And now I recommend you to watch another video where you will learn how to pinpoint SEO gaps in your Amazon product listings. So check this out.